In this tutorial, we will implement the loot trap device. If you want more videos like this, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And if you want to access the code of this tutorial or are looking for help, you can check our Patreon in the description. Let's continue with the tutorial. Hi, today we'll make the loot drop device. It will allow us to have custom drops for NPCs and creatures or wildlife that exist in your game. Um, this is especially a must-have device for your PV or RPG-like maps. So first, we need to define what a loot drop is. First, um, the type of loot, loot itself, which we will use a, an item spawner for. Then we need to define the chance of this item being dropped, or in other words, the drop chance. And we'll tie it all up to a creature spawner device. So here, as I said, we use a, we are using a creature spawner device, but you can actually use a wildlife spawner, spawner or an NPC spawner too. Um, you just you will just change the spawner device here and keep everything else the same, and it will work. And so another thing that might seem different to you is type definition here. Um, this allow this is just a property of verse. This allows us to um, define a ra define and create a range for this float variable here. So we have defined a range from 0 0.02 to 1.0, which is an inclusive range. <clears throat> um, this is to set up drop chance. So this is basically 0% to 100%. Uh, so if you set this drop chance to 1.0, it will be 100%. And if you set the 0.0 it will be 0% now in the event function uh, as we did like similar to this in our previous videos we're just calling the main devices function uh, this is just some kind of pattern that I like to do uh, this small class here just holds the data and calls the um, main uh, devices function and the main device will handle the general logic there the main logic I mean and since we have spoken about it um, let's write that function down too so in the creature eliminate eliminated function of the main device we'll check for the drop chance to see if we can drop the loot then we'll um, teleport this item spawner device to the eliminated creatures location and then uh, spawn the item this will make it seem as if the loot is dropped from the creature.
So at the top here, um, we return um, if the chance is not with us basically. So as you can see, we are um, generating a random flow from 1% to 100%. And you can imagine if you set it to one, I mean, this will never happen basically. And if you set it to zero, set the drop chance to zero, this will always execute and yeah, it will never drop. So um, after the chance is with us, we just um, get the location of the eliminated creature. We teleport the uh, spawner there and then just we spawn the item. Great. Um, now actually the only uh, thing left to do is to define an array of these um, loot drop data and then initialize them in the beginning. All right, the code is all done. Now we'll continue with the editor and we'll do some critical stuff with the item spawner settings there. So, so that this loot dropping uh, logic we have here works as we, we have intended to be. Um, so pay attention to that. Okay, now in our empty scene here, let's put, a, put an item spawner first. Um, here it is. Now, if you look at it, first we want to disable this timer stuff since we're going to manually spawn the item. And then when we come here, um, I mean, we'll, I'll set this later. Uh, for now, I'm just setting the properties of the item spawner. So this is cool. Um, this is cool. Uh, but yeah, this one. So I want to hide the spawner because I'm going to be. Um, teleporting it you know around the map so I need to hide it this just um, this also disables the collision of this item spawner so we also need that so this is just exactly what we need and here is the most important setting most important setting is continuously spawn items we want this enabled we want this enabled this is important because if we if we don't, if we don't enable that, that we can only have one drop loot standing around, which is not what we want at all. I mean, if not, um, if not um, looted, we want those drop loots standing around, right? So we want this enabled. That's an important one. <clears throat> okay, then uh, those were the important details. Now I'll set up a little test in here with a couple of creature spawners and stuff and then I'll play test it.
So I、um, put and、um, get a get myself a weapon here to eliminate the creatures. So we have three creature spawners, as you can see from left to right,、um, and I have one item spawner for each of them assigned. So the first spawner spawns this、um, classic fiend, and when I kill it, it drops the gold. I can just get here and pick.、Um, so each time I, I set the drop chance for the first、um, loot to one, so 100%. So as you can see, it drops,、uh, it drops the gold each time, and all the、uh, gold that I didn't pick up just stands around. So on the second one,、um, it was the wood、um, loot and wood resource, and the drop chance is、um, 0.75, so 75 percent. So it will drop almost、uh, most of the time. Just trying to get a non-drop, but I mean, 75 is pretty high. Okay, you see it didn't drop, so because it is set to 75. So the last one,、um, the ice field is 50%, so 0.5, and it drops a stone or, or you know the brick. So since it's 50%, I mean it will. You know, half the time it will drop, and half the time it won't. As you can see,、uh, its drop chance is、uh, much lower than the others.、Um, and as you can see,、um, when I kill the creatures from the, you know, from most left to the most right,、um, their drop chances.、Um, Decrease just as expected, and this、uh, this loot、uh, dropper device is a highly customizable device. You can、uh, do a lot of things with it.、Um, you can build on top of this. You can use, as I said, you can use NPC spawner devices. You can use wildlife spawner devices. You can、um, like change your drop chances、uh, at runtime. So. During game, during the game, you could actually make the drop chance a variable, and you could、um, change it, decrease it, increase it during the game.、Um, and, you, and and you could also actually customize the drop amounts. I'm just dropping one, but you could actually customize the drop amounts too. You could do, you can do all sort of all sorts of things. So、um, so that was all today.、Um, To access the code of this video, you can check our Patreon. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share if you have enjoyed. And also leave a comment on what tutorial you would want to see next. See you later.